Offer and acceptance are the building blocks of contract, but an offer that no longer exists can't be accepted. So when does a verbal offer expire? The Tennessee Court of Appeals in Akers v. J.B. Sedbury had an opinion. Mrs. M.B. Sedbury was the owner and president of J.B. Sedbury Incorporated. The company sold hammer mills, manufactured by the J.B. Manufacturing Company. In 1947, Charles Akers and William Whitsett began working for J.B. Sedbury. Both men had written employment contracts for five-year terms. They worked at the J.B. Manufacturing Facility, making sure the company manufactured its products to J.B. Sedbury's expectations. In 1948, Mrs. Sedbury bought J.B. Manufacturing. Within two years, J.B. Manufacturing was in financial difficulties and friction had developed between Akers and Witsit and a new manager. In September of 1950, Akers and Witsit met with Mrs. Sedbury to discuss the company's problems. Akers and Witsit later testified that at the outset of their conference, they offered to resign with 90 days' notice, provided they were paid according to their contracts for that time period, but that Mrs. Sedbury brushed aside the offer. Mrs. Sedbury testified that she didn't accept their resignations, but that she wanted to give the offer more consideration. However, during the meeting, she didn't say anything about wanting to consider the offer and continued to discuss business with them for the rest of the day. But a few days later, Mrs. Sedbury sent telegrams to Akers and Witsit accepting their resignations effective immediately. Akers and Witsit protested that their resignations were no longer on the table to no avail. They sued for breach of their employment contracts, and the trial court ruled in their favor. J.B. Sedbury appealed to the Tennessee Court of Appeals.